hey, 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 hey. So you remember I said Thanksgiving ain't over because you still got leftover Thanksgiving food. Um, and I'm still in a Thanksgiving spirit because we love food. We're foodies. I have to use sweet potato croissant bites. Now, this is very quick. This is why like, I'm sitting down and chill because this is a quick recipe. Um, we have the good old Pillsbury croissant. And then I got some whipped cream for the topping. I don't have the pecan, which it requires the recipe. Um, and then you need three sweet potatoes. So we'll get this started right now. Okay, so you take three sweet potatoes. You're gonna pair each potato three to four times before you place it in the microwave for 15 minutes. Now, the potatoes are pretty tough. So when you're piercing them, use all your strength and might. Dig into those potatoes, girl. Dig into them. So I pierced all three of them. Now we're placing it in the microwave for 15 minutes. Um, and just let it cook. Next step that we're going to do, we are going to cut into those potatoes. Now be careful. It's kind of hot. My fingers are about to bun off. Don't mind my arm um, broken nail. Please don't judge me. Okay. So um, cut into each of the potatoes, and as you're doing that, just take your time. Um, you can see it's cooked within the 15 minutes. Mmm, look at them potatoes. Now what you're going to do, you're going to scoop the potatoes out of um, each and put them in a bowl because we're going to begin to mix our um, ingredients and products into it. It's super so hot. You see the point? Look at it. Look at it. Good. Oh, hot. Now you're adding one quarter cup of sugar and already in the bowl, one quarter cup of um, heavy cream. Then you have half a teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of vanilla. Just half. I think I probably added a little more, but I love vanilla. And then you have your half teaspoon of salt. And now what you're going to do is mix everything together and also taste it to your liking um i like mine sweet and i didn't add anything extra because i wanted to follow the recipe to the tea and um just mash everything together like i said you keep it moving now yep there you go smoothing it out because that's going to be placed into your muffin pan and now you take a baking sheet, and here is your Pillsbury croissant. Open that bad boy up. I had some difficulties opening it up. I had to get my parents involved. Because I'm like, I never opened one of these before. So um, there is a trick. They give you proper instructions on the container for the croissant. So you'll unravel it. And what you're going to also see me do is... Add do 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 do. Okay, here we go. Come on. Do 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 do. Okay, not just yet. Not just yet. All right. Do 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 do. Add your flour. <laughs> so add um, enough flour to cover the base of your bacon sheet in your bacon pan, and then you'll add the croissant go back on top of it. And don't be afraid to use your fingers in here. You're gonna get dirty. Um, there you go. Put her right back on top of your baking pan and unravel. And what you're gonna do is just gonna spread it out. Be very gentle because as you can see it can break apart. Alright, so you see those holes that were in there? You're going to kind of pinch them together because this is going to be one um, flat sheet of croissant. And knead it. <laughs> my mom is helping me. Guys, I've never done this before. This is my first time, so I was really trying. Trying to get it flat, um, spread it out so we get some length because we do have to cut about 24 squares um, out of this one dough. And oh, sorry, guys, I just burped. Um, no judgment here. So you're spreading it out. Keep on doing that. Take your handy dandy knife. 
and you're just gonna cut these into cut this into about 24 sections i couldn't do 24 um out of what i've made but i know the next time i do it i'll i'll follow the directions well no i did follow the directions but i'll spread it out a little more so i can get the 24. and you just cut them into squares And so I place um, all the squares into the muffin pan. And now I'm adding the sweet potato into each of them. And you're only adding a tablespoon amount into each. Now that you are almost done, please go put it back in there. One more, Tisha. One more. Okay, we're almost good. I also sprayed pan. That's why you see like the oil drops on it. Um, and this is my favorite part of marshmallows. You add like two to three on each of your um, sweet potato croissant bites. And I was starting to put two in them. And I'm like, no, I love marshmallows. And then I went back and did three. And now it is time to put these into the oven. Place it in there, not 300, it's gonna be 375 degrees for 50. Well, are you ready? Look at that, it's almost there. If you wanna get some nice brown color, I love how the marshmallows have the brown on top, and this is the final product. So with the three, yeah, it kind of melted over. It doesn't look like a beautiful. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for my next video. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Eat the key. Thank you so much. Bye.